I've been fortunate up to this point to be involved in shows that I really believe in and that I'm really excited about as a product. The producers, obviously, just Mel Brooks' name stamped on it, you know, gets people into the seats to see it. Knowing that it received all the accolades and all the publicity on Broadway uh, gets people in to see it. The Drowsy Chaperone is, dare I say it, just as wonderfully funny of an evening of theater a as the producers. You're going to get just as many laughs out of this show and have just as wonderful a time. It, what it is, it's an old-fashioned musical comedy as told through the eyes of a musical theater enthusiast. And I play the role of the, uh, it's called the man in chair. He takes you into his apartment. It all takes place in his apartment. And he puts on the record of his favorite show, The Drowsy Chaperone. And he, it's a musical in 1928. And he leads you through, talks you through what's happening in the record with all these asides and monologues. And then you have all these big production numbers uh, and lots of you know, vaudeville humor and classic musical comedy all the way through. So it's got a contemporary sensibility and that it does take place today. And so there's lots of you know, inside jokes and, and references uh, told through my character. But you get all the, the fun of the old-fashioned, you know, heartwarming sort of musical comedy with just tons of great you know, tunes and dance. The whole show, uh, you know, the whole theme of the show is that theater is so depressing oftentimes today because it's not what it used to be. And it's like, I just want a show that's you know, short and sweet and will take me away for a little while to another world. And that's, that's the whole conceit of the show is that you just want to be taken away and be entertained. And I can't think of a better remedy uh, in, in these times than to just get away to the theater for a night where you won't stop laughing.